why do I walk around London and its margins? Um, the process of walking snaps me out of my automated insect hive existence and draws me into uh, a deeper engagement with environment and landscape and with the uh, region that supports me both biologically and, and in terms of living space and the broad stream of history. Um, the process of walking insofar as it provides me with ever-changing frameworks within which to place the exact area where I live uh, also defamiliarises my life and therefore gives me a sense of it's being revitalised. I'm no longer operating on automatic, I'm no longer some kind of larval mind just doing his humdrum job. Uh, basically, and put very simply, uh, walking is consciousness expanding. Circling minute by minute, I am dialed through on-off heat, cold, light, dark, rain and sleet, watching a movement from pantaloons and merkins through to these luxury flats and slug-like cars. Slip motorway round my ankles if you must. Drag me into your petroleum future. You will pass too, ending crutcheted by red leaves of Herb Roberts, stars of cow thistle. I see your car crashes, I see economies collapse, I sense the unspoken family secrets, I see the white cow gate lit by sunshine. I am the centre, I am buttressed stone walls, I am oak rafters and the soft flap of dove's wings in cool corners. See the de Havilland mosquito push overhead, Hatfield bound. See sweet Brian Connolly sitting and playing guitar in the meadow. He's out of his rocket on mushrooms, his hair as fair as hay. Now his face grows furrowed and worn as he ages into knock knees and long johns. Now his corpse is laid out and still I stand. See my thrust through time, my doves flown high in circles over tall oaks I knew as saplings. I am the pivot around which it swings, the spigot through which it all flows. I push down to wormholes and into the moist darkness beneath your bullied present day. Now there are Kindles, now you are wired to androids. Now there is a white flash and everything is swept away.